Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Despite all the recent rain, Lake Mead's water levels amid the 22-year drought leaves Henderson's original water supplier high and dry. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has more on the Basic Water Company's bankruptcy. Yeah, Basic Water Company, which at one point was the sole provider of water to Henderson and Las Vegas in the mid-20th century, filed for bankruptcy protection on Saturday, a move that comes as the company is no longer able to pump water from Lake Mead. According to the company's CFO, when Lake Mead dropped below 1,043 feet in early July, BWC's intake pipe installed in the 1940s could no longer draw water from the lake. But the company is still on the hook to deliver water and is now paying the city of Henderson to provide that water to the businesses instead, coming at the cost that is four to five times higher than the rate for raw water. Henderson residents won't have to worry about their water being cut off or any kind of disruption to their service. Basic Water Company's main customer, only real customers, are a handful of industrial customers in the city of Henderson. BWC also still owes roughly $7.5 million on bonds that will mature in 2032. The CFO noted that the agreement with the city is temporary and that they are working expeditiously towards a permanent solution. And after a cloudy day, the skies are clearing up making for a starry night in the 80s, which should dip into the 70s overnight. The precipitation should clear as well. On Thursday, sunny skies are back with a high of 93 and low of 70 degrees. Similar conditions on Friday and beyond with cooler evenings. Lows bottoming out in the 60s. A nice break from the heat in the evenings. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Over in Overton, a close call. What you're seeing is Metro Police rescuing an elderly couple from the flood. Review Journal's James Schaefer tells us how close. Tuesday night storms in the Overton area led to a swift water rescue caught on camera showing a Las Vegas Metro rescue helicopter lowering a team to the top half of a submerged van. Metro posting the video on its Twitter account that an older couple pulled off the highway to get some rest around 2 a.m. Wednesday, but a short time later, torrential rain sent floodwaters in their direction. Search and Rescue Sergeant LeBlanc provided more details about what goes into a rescue of this nature. A hoist of a single rescuer onto the vehicle. At that time, he was able to get the female, the fire department, volunteers out there in that Overton, Logandale area were staged and they received the rescuer and the victim. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Allegiant Stadium is now offering checkout less concession transactions through the AI driven platform Zippin. Several stores called America First Smart Shop allow you to grab your refreshments on the 300 level of the stadium and go. Just tap a credit card or scan a QR code to enter a Zippin powered shop, then pick up your items. America First Smart Shops will be available during the Raiders home opener Sunday against the Cardinals. And meet two local luxury realtors listed in the 2022 national rankings of top agents. George Kiprios comes in at number 19 with $465 million in transactions. He's the owner of GK Properties in Henderson and works with Zillow. Meanwhile, a partner with Corcoran Global Living, Kristen Routh Silberman, ranks 96, amassing $228 million. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. The first official Raiders injury report has been released for their Week 2 matchup against the Arizona Cardinals at Allegiant Stadium on Sunday at 1.25 p.m. Running back Brandon Bolden, safety Trayvon Merrick, center Andre James, and linebacker Denzel Perryman all missed practice on Wednesday. The Cardinals still may be without Rondale Moore, who's suffering from a hamstring injury. Defensive lineman J.J. Watt did not participate in practice on Wednesday due to a calf injury. In entertainment, sponsored by Best Mattress. Best service, best selection, best price guaranteed. Caesar Sportsbook leaves behind the chariot and breaks out the big rig for fans this football season. A Caesars branded 18-wheeler will travel to sporting events, including two Raiders games, before a final stop at Super Bowl 57. It features a thousand square feet of space for fans.
And one of the city's great culinary traditions will return at St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church. The Las Vegas Greek Food Festival will feature Greek coffee, wines, baklava, pastry puffs, lamb chops, and more on September 23rd to the 25th. Tickets start at 7 bucks. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. Mountain West Commissioner Craig Thompson has announced that after 24 years, he is resigning from his position. His final day as commissioner will be December 31st. His announcement comes after the college football playoff announced this month. It will be expanding its field from 4 to 12 in the near future. In a statement, Thompson said, quote, with CFP expansion accomplished and having invested almost a third of my life in the Mountain West, the time is now right for me to conclude my tenure and allow the conference to continue its momentum under new leadership. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Aces are one victory away from their first WNBA championship, but enter Game 3 on Thursday at Connecticut as one-point underdogs at the Westgate Superbook. The total is 160, and the Aces are even on the money line, while the Sun are minus 120. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. With the spike of home births, Nevada Eye Physicians are reminding new parents that September is Newborn Screening Awareness Month. A newborn screening can diagnose issues early on. And experts say after a home birth, your baby should be screened within the first 24 to 48 hours, including an eye exam. And for those looking to stay active, Lee Canyon's Downhill Mountain Biking Park is now open. Weather permitting, bikers can enjoy the trails from 10 to 6 daily, about an hour out from Vegas. Officials say the trails will be fully open on the weekends with partial weekday closures to build additional trails. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.